guys it's really been a while and i have missed you all i hope you all have been doing so great wow today i want to show you how i installed this wig of mine this is 100 percent human hair wig i was installing it on my head and i thought it would be good why not to share with you how i did it it was so simple and so easy you all can do it so why not take a seat and spend these few minutes with me i guess this is going to help you and help someone around you my name is Kalista star beauty if this is your first time so look at the wig this wig is old and it's been long i've not used it but because i used it a good number of times before I now have this hair coming out from inside the net so what I am doing now is to try to cut any hair that is inside because with that it will make it difficult for me to glue the wig especially at the front part so I try to cut any fly over any hair I can see I try to take it out so that when I put my glue it will be the glue directly on my scalp and not the hair so that is how it looks like and you can see i already have the net on my head to protect my hair and when i put on my wig i make sure i stretch it right to the back and right to the front to get the full length of the wig covering all of my hair so like i told you it's been long i've not used this wig i've neglected it so i am trying to bring it back anew so i'm trying to come back and make sure that every flying hair every short hair is laid back so i can be able to get access to the net itself so that when i lay it down there will be no hair in my way before i proceed i want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers especially those who are newly subscribed to this channel. I tell you, you are in the right place. On this channel, we do little tips about our hair, our beauty. We do mostly head wraps all the times and we give you little tips on how you can manage the little things you have around you to be able to help yourself to look good and to be able to measure up to standard. These days, we want to look good, all of us. We can do that without necessarily spending too much money which was the prior motive why i started this channel to prove to people that there are little things we've got around us that we can use them to help ourselves look beautiful not necessarily buying everything so back to the video you can see i am doing i want to attach this wig from the back part so i'll be attaching this wig to the cornrow that i have on my head alongside the net that I have underneath. So I'm uh, tacking the corn row, the net on my hair, and this wig, so that I'll hold it in place from the back, so that when I do it in front, it won't, it won't keep moving. It will be in one position, and that way the glue can last longer. So that's just what I've done. I've just sewn from ear to ear to make sure that that wig is secured and now I want to proceed with the gluing of the wig. And I'm going to be using just two products, the got to be spray and the got to be glue. So we have the glue that is the paste and we have the spray, which is what I'm using now. So I'm going to be putting this around my hairline. Then I warm it, I blow dry it on medium heat for like two minutes, medium heat. Even though at times I want to forcefully use high heat, but that is too hot and it burns. That is not good for us. So best practice is to blow dry it on medium heat for like two to three minutes. I did this process like three times over because if you want to put too much glue and blow dry it all at once, it will glue, yes, but it won't last. So you need to do it bit by bit. So this is the second time I'm putting the got to be got to be spray and I am going to blow dry it again on medium heat 2 to 3 minutes and I will do it again the third time before I will cut the front part of that net to take it out 
so it gives a smooth outline from my head to my skin. So what I'm doing now, I carefully take my time either with a blade or with a scissors to cut this front part of the net that I'm using to protect my head. By this time, it is supposed to be glued to my skin. But because this front part is too thick, it is not needed. So I have to take my time and cut that off carefully, leaving the glued part behind. So watch and see exactly what I'm doing. So I continue with the cut to be glue, the paste. And what I'm doing, I apply it at the end of where I cut that. Part on top of the net and part on top of my skin. So the two parts can blend easily. So there will be a smooth outline there. And I go with my blow drying, medium heat, two to three minutes. It must not be like just as you blow dry it, you can be able to fill it with your fingers. When it's almost dry, then we are going to proceed by bringing the wick and laying it down flat on the glue. Just make sure you get the full length of the wick to the front, covering up your hairline entirely. And with a little pressure on that, your wig is supposed to be glue. Then you can now use your blow drying machine again and a little bit of spray to be very sure that it is cemented. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Kalista Star Beauty, why not consider giving a touch on that red subscribe button down below and hitting on that notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will be the first to get notified. Do not forget to like the video and drop a comment for me. Do not forget to share because when you share, so many people get the opportunity to watch and pick up something. Thank you for your love. Thank you for always being there. So back to the video. I'm only doing a little bit of pressure and a little bit of heat until I am very satisfied that it is completely glue. If you hold the hair from the wig and try to pull it up, you will see that it is really glued and cemented so you can let go. But for now, I'm still blow drying because I'm not very sure that it is completely glue. So enjoy your video and don't forget to come back when next I upload a new video. <laughs>
So I'm holding that down again to blow dry. And this is the final stage of it. After this, I know it is completely glued. And that can last me for up to two weeks. If you're comfortable with it, you can keep it for up to two weeks and you will be just fine. So I want to bring out the baby hair but I need just a little bit and because in the past when I used to install this wig I will cut a little bit of hair in front short and make it for the baby hair but over the years you discover that the net is too exposed because I've been cutting and after some time the short hair falls out so now I'm just pulling the hair from the back when I pull it in front a little bit exactly what I'm doing I just pull it from the back and press it down on the net because it is still a little bit sticky it can glue itself to the net so that's exactly what i'm doing now to get a little bit of baby hair to cover up for this net that is too exposed at the front and like i said it is because in the past i have been cutting too many you know the pre-plucked kind of thing you cut those ones in front because you want to use it as baby hair but after some time because it's too short the conditions, weather conditions, the heat and all of that we apply to it. When we want it straight, we apply it and all of that. The short hair falls off. So finally, this place is too exposed. That is why I don't want to be cutting it any further. So when I pull this little head hair in front, I press it down. That acts like the baby hair to cover up for this net that is showing. And immediately after this, all I did is to apply a little bit of edge control on top of that, a little bit of mousse and a little bit of spring. Then I tie it down and blow dry it. And that brings me to the end of my installation. I hope this video has been good. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you've understood. You can actually watch and watch. You will see that it is very easy and you can do it for yourself, you can do it for your friends, for your sisters, and for your mothers. But before then, do not hesitate to touch on that red subscribe button. Thank you for your love. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. Do you think the installation was well done? Do you think there are other better products you can use rather than the got to be spray and the got to be glue that i used i am not advertising anything i just tried that and i saw that it worked for me there are other products that work for other people i'm only showing you what i used to be able to bring out mine so at the end what i'm applying to the skin is what just the mousse to make it soft and if you have other essential oils you want to apply to your hair you can do that and that brings out the beauty of your hair let me know if you love it thank you for staying tight to this video till the end thank you for the like thank you for the subscribe thank you for the comment hope to see you again in my next video love you all bye bye